Hello and welcome, Pocket Watch here, and it's about time for another episode of Yes Ire. So, actually, this time we are not going for other story, because apparently it's the one that is unlocked earlier. Uh, so, thank you for letting me know about this, and these are actually supposed to be read after you finish the road. So, that's what I'm going to do. I will finish the road, whatever road I am in, because I don't know what kind of order is there. Apparently it's the proper order, like it's supposed to be written because in the, because of this patch. So yeah, anyway. We need to like actually finish the road to do everything. Also, thank you for your comments and your you are big help in like this whole mess of like characters and everything. That's a lot to take in. So I appreciate your help. Thank you. You are amazing. And yeah, I think we can uh, pull through it together and I hope I will remember the characters properly this time and everything. So apparently the Trifa that was like summoned and Christoph is the same person and it's a guy actually. So yeah, the priest is Christoph and this is the guy. So that's one, one of less confusions. And yeah, I got some info. Thank you, and I guess we can just go to the next episode, because we finished episode 1. Uh, and yeah, let's go to the next part of the story, and let's see. Probably we'll have like drop name for episode 2, I wonder if this will be like in English or maybe in French again. So I may need your assistance in like translating this. So looking forward to this. Tell me. Have you experienced the sensation of foreknowledge? Also, apparently, the like you helped me understand a bit, like previous episode and stuff. Like they said that. They failed the ritual before because of absence, and we had like a substitute for Valkyrie. Uh, so probably it's possible that she might, uh, she probably died, and they need like full team for this uh, ritual to be created. And uh, Leonhard is uh, like substitute for her, and maybe that's why they have like full party now again, stuff like that. Also, yeah, I messed up with, like, a rare episode when I thought, like, she going, uh, like, the date in the museum was before the murder, not after I messed up that, so thank you as well. Tatoeba, Kono Fuke wa Mita Kotoga Aru. Kono Sake wa Nonda Kotoga Aru. That sounds like a deja vu, actually. Kono Nioi wa Kaida Kotoga Aru. この音楽は聞いたことがある。この女は抱いたことがある。そしてこの感情は前にも抱いたことがある。錯覚。脳の五人式が時に生み出す。なかなか風情ある一種の錯覚。Also, I just thought about this. Like, I have to put this on Discord, but maybe like I will just say it on the video as well. Why not? Uh, because uh, this is like. The, the version that's without like age scenes and stuff. So instead of me rereading everything just for that later, we can just, I guess, post the scenes on Discord in spoiler tags when they're supposed to happen, just to have like full view of everything. I don't know. Or I will just do like extra, just extra video, extra episodes of the, of like compilation of this, like at the end, but. I don't know. That would be like probably too much for YouTube to take. Because that would be like purely for that and YouTube don't like that usually. Oh! Oh, that's it. So this one is... Uh, Mercurius? No, wait, Mercurius is this guy. The vice leader. 
And this one... Oh fuck, I forgot. Okay, let's call him the gold hair guy. Yeah. Also, to your recommendations, we are playing on widescreen. But for the CGs, we are swapping for 40. To have like full picture, actually. Okay, he have glow here. He have like... Wow, on this scene, he looks like he have like awfully long arm. Wow, this, okay, I don't know if that's supposed to look like that. <laughs> His eyes are kind of weird, like this eye is kind of weird, to be honest. Okay. So, this is what I'm going to do. 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 So, いや、破滅願望というべきか。オッケー。この戦争、あなたは負けると思われるのか？You will lose this war, so they are indeed in some kind of war, and probably the ritual is required to win this war. I would, I would say. あ、負けるだろう。And they already lost once. They were like unable to make this ritual. なぜそう思われる獣ども？ あなたは下手ポーションを悪し、相当 空前にして絶後のマジュスシ。世界の真理に最も近いと再言われるヘルメストリスメギストス。マイガッド。ヘルメストリスメギストス。ダスキミンマルコリオス。イツキ、ライク、ビカスアイノーライクデイゴイ
or he is like nearly immortal. Maybe he is like he have like by himself the powers of like on being almost immortal, and he cannot like revive himself if he's like totally dead. Interesting. Interesting. まさしく寝言と同義同列。故に法則を曲げたければ夢物語を排除せよ。祈れば叶う。泣けば奇跡が舞い降りる。そのような出薄エクス巻きな私に言わせれば最も抱きすべき邪悪でしかない。もし可用
究極同じようにしか沈まぬ太陽はあなんとつまらない世界はこんなにも退屈だこれを老いと人は言う I got to say though I really enjoy voice acting in this game Do you really know what they're doing? Do you, let me know in the comments, do you have your favorite voice actor from the SIR? I wonder. Maybe I didn't show this character yet, which you like, but like, in general, voice actor. But even though, the years have increased with the years, it's just the path. Unable to experience the unknown. So, because he can like transcend, he knows like everything and he sees the future or something, right? Is that a thing? Because he cannot find anything new. Ha! Huh. So, how much into the future he can see if he can see future actually? Or maybe he cannot see future. He cannot learn nothing new, that's for sure. So he like knows everything, but. Ha! Huh. Karini. Mosh Karini. Okay. Sensation okay, I think I will need like a bit of your help actually on this one. Can he see future? Do they mean they can see future or... I mean, if he knows everything, then he probably see future as well, right? Or he just know... Or it's more like Claiborne's, like he sees and knows everything what's happening right now. He don't see a future. Because they would not fail the ritual if he would see future, right? That makes sense. Because he could prevent that, probably. Unless he cannot prevent, like, future events because it's like fate. The night death. So he is immortal. So he, so he knows everything and he's immortal. What the fuck? What kind of character is this? It's broken. いいな、死ねない。私はこの世界に生まれたという証が欲しい。苦しいほどに道が欲しい。私はあなたに、この世界の残虐なる秘密を享受しようとしている。それを聞く勇気は終わりか。あなた以外の誰にも話そうとしな
あなたは私が知り得る中で最も悪魔に近い人間だ。OK。神父だな、カール。カール。悪魔などという呼び名、珍しくもない。Oh, wait, I was wrong. Wait. Okay, I'm not going into names. I will go back to the comments to check the names after this, okay? I was wrong about what he said before. There was like title or something. Or maybe, oh my god, it could be actually him. That could be the title that thing we had before. And his name is like Karl Mercurius. He can be like Karl Mercurius and the thing that we learned today. This game is complicated with names. But I will just I will I will figure it out. That's fine. I will I can call him just Carl, I guess. Yeah. Or Mercurius. These two are the easiest one. I just need to like have in mind that to, to just like connect the names like by the glimpse. I don't need to like remember them exactly. It's like I could never remember uh Akitaka name from Muramasa, and I but I always knew that they if someone mentioned Akitaka I knew who it is. So it's probably going to be the case in this IR as well. Like I will not remember the name, but if they talk about him, then I will know who it is. Kyukyukに近くなるほど形容する言葉はチンプになるもの。火を水のようだとは言いますまい。Okay. His ultimate evil. So I was right. That's his title, the Magus. So he's just immortal and wise. So he's like the. Uh, the hermit, I would say, and he's not like he don't have like strong firepower, I guess. Don't give me these names! Oh my God, no! Stop giving me your names! You have enough names. I don't need you need your like thousands years of like of names. Yowai, no shio mo naku moroi. それが私。あなたのごとき絶対とは比べるべくもない必勝な存在。しかし、だからこそわかることもあるのです。It's私も刑を生刑している。刑の秘密に触れたいと願う。残念ながらそのようだ。そうなってみて初めてそうだったと思うがゆえの基地感である。オッケー。口をし、呪わしい。あなたと出会い、あなたほどの地獄に触れてもま
kinda OP combo. Well, still, not immortal, so we can deal with him. Somehow, probably. For knowledge means ghetto? Ghetto means for knowledge? Really? Wow, you learn something new every time. So they call so that. そういえば、私と K は前にもこの話をしていたな。しかりしかり、百億回も繰り返した。我々は未だこの牢獄に囚われている。ゆえに彼がいるのですよ。He is needed. So they who wants to resurrect someone, like I said, like they said about the thousand souls is required for one life, something like that. So they try to revive someone. Zaratustra. The one we call Zaratustra. Zaratustra. I heard this name. It was in the previous episode, I believe. Yeah, I think it was in the previous episode. Oh, chapter name. Xenophobia. I could read I could read that. Xenophobia. It sounds like the title for Alien vs Predator. There are xenomorphs. Swahara so, City. Uh, serial de uh, decapitation murder case death toll rises to seven. Already. Is it after one night? On December 4th, around 6.30 uh, a.m., an employee of a dinner lo located on the Suohara city bypass discovered local salaryman Masayuki Shibuya, 28, and his friend and co-worker Mitsunori Yoda, 28, collapsed in the dinner, dinner parking lot. He notified the police. As both victims were decapitated, the Suohara city police department has ruled this uh, the work of the serial killer currently terrorizing Suohara city. The police have issued a statement expressing their co uh, continued intent to pers pursue the investigation. Additionally, it seems as if the killing, killings so far have been initiated at random, as investigators have been unable to identify any shared traits among the victims. Ha! Huh. A modern-day Jack the Ripper, the shadow of fear covering Sohara City. Why are they decapitating people? I guess they like. They must have targets, like specific targets, right? It's not like they just like go around and randomly like slaying people. We know from 45 that they can like basically just make some prayer and just like nuke the whole city. So why not that? The ongoing Suahara city, a serial murder case that started on December 1st, has claimed seven victims so far. A crime on the scale and level of depravity is unheard of in post-war Japan. Though the criminalis MO resembles that of the prototypical serial killer frequently, frequently seen in the Western society, experts' opinion remain divided, as the victims' bodies show no signs of sexual mutation. Uh, what's the MO? Once again, I don't know. Yeah. Criminals MO. Yeah, help me. I don't remember. Also, thanks for uh, for helping me with the with the free letter uh short for uh, like too much information in rare episode. Yeah, I would never get that. I so re I like I basically never use that, so I would never figure it out. So thanks, and I think I will need help with this as well. <laughs> Chaos in the streets. Suahara City shooting incident. Shooting incident now. Okay, there's some new stuff. 
On December 2, around 3 p.m., scuffle broke out among several boys in uh, Miruyama Machi, the city's largest down downtown district. Officer Takao Okta, 31, was shot by one of the youth involved upon arriving at the scene. Officer Okta survived the incident, but it's currently hospitalized. Okay, so this is not the... the okay, this is just like a normal accident or something. Kimina's acts by juveniles have been on the rise in Sohara city over the past few months. It will behoop the police to investigate the weapon employ employed in this incident and its means of acquisition. Okay. It didn't take me long to get my feel of news for the day. Not the great news recently. The teachers had given up on trying to teach today, abandoning most classes and telling us to study on our own. This provided the perfect opportunity for me to skip out on the roof. But the faculty was probably in the midst of heated debate right now around. In other words, they were most likely discussing whenever or not to close the school until the serial murder case blew over. It wasn't hard to imagine that they were getting complaints from parents left and right. And it's not like the students themselves felt that much differently. Yeah, that's true. Like, a lot of like murders happening around and it's like actually relatively close to your school. So, probably you don't want to like travel too much through the city in the morning and later. Today, uh, we were looking at less than 70% attendance rate. We're past the point where you could just ignore things and keep teaching classes. And of course, none of the students actually attending were interested in the whole self-study idea. The classrooms were little more than the offline stage for some sort of debate people were having about the subjects on the message boards. Considering how many people were getting fed up with the whole thing and just heading home entirely, I was a model student by compa comparison. Yeah, we know that. He said that before, he's like the model student. And good looking. Add in additional. You jumped a bunch of teenagers on the edge of the box all day like this and something was gonna give eventually. I really would have uh, preferred to hit the road myself before any trouble arose, but I never heard the end of it from Kasumi, so I decided to just escape to the roof instead. Though to be honest, there was another, more pressing reason I had for wanting to be alone. I sighted and slunk down against the water tower. Yeah. So, yeah, I was like wondering, is he having like the same dream? So he does, actually. I have been having the same dream every night. Now, the same development every time, culminating in my decapitation by the guillotine. And every time I woke up from it, there have been a report of a new murder in the city. Is he really like... Sleepwalking? Is that really the case? Is it... Th uh, what? I don't know. I still couldn't figure out who that girl was. Even though you would never had anything resembling a conversation, I couldn't get those uh, plaintive eyes and that song of her out of my head. A guillotine, the girl, my decapitation, head rolling on the ground, bloody bodies with their heads severed. I couldn't help that this was some sort of vicious, uh, vicious cycle with my dreams invading reality, and reality in turn affecting my dreams, drawing wars by day. Why was this happening? Yeah, I don't know. I could think of three hypotheses that seems plausible. Okay, first, you are crazy. First was all the coincidence, random noise that only seems to be forming pattern. That was the most realistic answer. Uh, I would say the more realistic answer is that you're going crazy? <laughs> Second, I had psychic powers and my dreams were prophetic. I could predict the death of those around me. Such people did exist according to my knowledge. Okay, interesting one, didn't thought about this. Sort of cliche plot you see in mystery novels and like that. Like. In other words, Orego. the murderer, he actually get, he actually got the conclusion that I had. 
Oh my god, is this going to be the one? Is this going to be the one? I swear it's going to be the one. He just goes to sleep. And he's like sleepwalking. And just like decapitates someone each night. I bang my head against the water tower in an attempt to stave off that line of thought. Murder by definition, a destructive act. There was nothing to be gained from going around killing people. I tried to force myself to think about it from a rational standpoint. All that had happened was a few strangers dying, right? I wasn't the sort of guy to get worked up over something so trivial. Yeah, the problem is... Each time we have a dream about guillotine. So that's not just trivial random thing. That's kind of a pattern now. My thoughts threatened to get away from me and my and spiral into the endless pit unless I keep repeating that uh, with enough conviction to piss even myself off. I couldn't afford to be concerned to the morality of my outlook on the situation. Continuing to fret about things could just dig me a deeper hole. If I wanted to convince myself that I am a normal person, then ignoring all this shit would be the best course of action. Not that normal person would react like that to the current situation, of course. Yeah. No person would like be scared. Suddenly, the bell rang, interrupting my little revere. It seems that fourth period had already ended. If the faculty ended up deciding to close the school after all, the day's classes would likely end now. There would probably be a school-wide broadcast soon enough. Okay, let's see. Sure enough, a voice emerged from the intercom about five minutes later. Okay. The contents of the broadcast, however, were not what I had expected. Ooh, okay. I couldn't believe my ears at first, but I suppose it was the understandable position. Adults really had it rough. Okay. Another five minutes passed. I lay down on the ground and stretched out. What was the info? <sighs> really? You are not going to give me the info? What they said? They just said that... Hey, we're continuing the lessons? Or what? There's no need to, like, announce that... The lessons will be continued, right? Because that's like natural... How they would like naturally have lessons. The only reason they would like make the call like that is when they would like to end early. So, okay. Maybe we'll get this info from Kasumi. Much like school pro uh, broadcasts, I had uh, expected this to occur, but not to play out exactly in the way it did. Panty shots! Kasumi looks so angry, as always. So one have blue, one have white. Okay, too much information, I guess. The ties, though. Oh, sorry. It's CG. So for free for now. So B. So I was right. I thought I I thought in the episode I think that Kasumi is around C. If that's B, yeah, makes sense. Like, Rhea eyes looks like she can like murder you. She's like not amused at all. And Kasumi is just pissed off. <laughs> Kasumi stared down at me with the expressed uh, look on her face. Actually, we don't need like for free for now. Okay, what's it this? Yeah, he don't like to be scolded. But what got me was that Himura was here as well. Her tongue uh, as pointed as ever. Yep. That's why she's scary. I looked up to the two of them, scratching my head. 
Well then. Oh my god, he actually paid attention. So I'm not the only one. Okay, I identify with Ren. Oh my god. Yep. Pretty much. Oh my god. <laughs> Castle be making all the best faces ever. And Ra is just like, oh yeah. Sure. Oh my god, he oh my god, he make a photo. <laughs> this is perfect. Oh my god, this guy is amazing. I zoomed uh, in with my phone camera, driven by the sense of duty. <laughs> okay, I like Ren. I like Ren. Holy shit. This is funny. <laughs> okay. Also, is Lich means pervert or not? I don't know, to be honest. I don't know this word, actually. But I heard... Etchi. Yeah, she says etchy. So it's like pervert, basically. Leech. Oh, leech. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, I'm back. I know, I know. Okay, makes sense. And we are kicked out of the existence by Kasumi, probably. Kimura had the ladylike descendancy to conceal herself. But Katsumi gave me even more of the eyesight as she launched a kick directly at my face, which I dodged neatly. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> she keep mumbling unintelligibly. I could only make out a few words uh, here and there, like, you didn't need to report on the colors. <laughs> 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 Miss Blue. <laughs> Rea is amazing as well. She goes along with us. Okay, Rea is better than Kasumi. <laughs> but Kasumi is still amazing to be around with. She's like such a great comic relief. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> she will go with this all the time, Miss Blue. Let's call her Miss White now. <laughs> oh, Rea is older. I thought like they like in the same class or in the same year. But Rea is older. Uh, Kasumi just called her Senpai. ん何のことかな藤井君。さあ、とりあえず空のように広い心を持ってほしいんですけどね。青色だしね。オーマイガード。そうです。パーフェクト。ミスブルーマネージドプラスターのスマイルオンヘアフェイス。イヴンエス
this would only end up going in circles, so I decided to let Kasumi off the hook for now. Okay. After that, after that, Kasumi confiscated my phone and deleted all of data on it in a record to three minutes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. But why? I couldn't imagine the students were all too pleased with the broadcast earlier. That was probably the reason why Kasumi and Himuro came up here looking for me too. So, if they just said they will not close the school, that means they... Because Ren just thought that they had discussion, so it was not like... Openly and announce that we will like have discussion and we'll let you know if we close the school or not But it's like by the By this announcement it seems like they actually told students that there will be an announcement if we close the school or not Ren said like They didn't know I yeah, okay. This is trivial this is trivial, let's 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 not let's not dive into this. Uh couldn't many students were all pleased with the broadcast, that's probably the reason why Kasumi and Humor came up here looking for me too. Okay. She could at least try looking like she meant it. Yeah, as always. Kimura began to dig through her infinite supply of sandwiches. Oh my god. What exactly did that pocket lead anyway? So... Oh, oh my god, I like Rhea. She reminds me of... Like... A rooftop eating being calm and calculated and having fun towards like main character like being ironic and stuff you know who remi reminds me of i am in a k from mavlov i don't know if you read that but you can let me know in the comments if you agree i have like a little bit of vibes of her like from for now from Rhea and Ayamine was my favorite character basically in the in Mabla series Kasumi and I each took uh, sandwiches from Himuro our smiles were just a bit just a bit strained three amigos <laughs> okay why are you blushing because of that? Now that was a fa uh, fanciful interpretation. It is. It is. Or maybe... What if the guys from... The bad guys from 45... What if they infiltrated the school, like, get inside the school and they're like one of the teachers and they influence that? Huh. We sat in a row on the bench and discussed current events while eating. Himura and Kasumi were sitting on the other side of me, boxing me in. How would we end up with this uh, arrangement exactly? Yep, true. They will have to like instantly close the school. Yep. 100%. Yurumuro made the neck chopping gesture. Yeah. Hmm. Is that true? I don't know, to be honest. How is the situation in Japan currently? Oh, so you're 
third generation Japanese. Okay. So she's like quarter... No. Yeah, so, it's, so she's one third Japanese, right? So that means like... Her mother or father is Japanese, the other one is not, and the grandfathers are not Japanese, I think. <laughs> yeah, okay. Shimura nodded while munching on her sandwich. She wasn't the type to let her emotions show through, but maybe she was feeling a bit of... Uh... Righteous indignation herself. What's up, Kasumi? Why are you so close? What do you want? <laughs> oh my god. Adults might have might have had their own set of problems to deal with, but sometimes you have to call a spade a spade, yep. Yeah, they just try to function normally, despite of like murder going around. I mean, it's not like... I mean, I see the rare point, okay? Like, we have the murderer going around, but on the other hand, you still need to function. Like, the city needs to function, so you cannot just, like, close everything. You can reduce hours, but you cannot, like, close. I mean, yeah, that's what she mean. Open all night. Yeah, just, like, not have not open for the all night. Just, like, have it open to like some time, yeah. Makes sense. Rea makes a lot of sense here, yeah. Still, the police cannot be everywhere at the same time, so it's like irrelevant at this point. You don't know where the murderer will strike. They will search for him, but it's not like they can protect everyone at night and just like avoid more murders what were they supposed to do declare martial law it wasn't like terrorists were prowling around that would would that uh, have been even been legal maybe it was just me being ignorant but stuff like this made you realize how gray of the country japan could be Ichiyo. Such a sharp eyes. Yep, I'm with Ren on this. I was seriously uncomfortable with answering that while Kasumi was glaring daggers at me from the opposite side. What do you don't agree with? Like, why? Like, yeah, I need to. I want to understand like Kasumi version of this. Just tell me what's your problem with this. Yeah, exactly. Just tell me what the hell do you mean. It was no fun being cleaned in on from both sides at once. Nope. All I wanted to do was eat my lunch in peace. I couldn't handle a close-up of two hysterical women, so I leaned backward, but... Kimura just kept moving in. As did Kasumi, I could only lean back even further. Kasumi, oh my god. This is the part of Kasumi I don't like, actually. I don't know, it, it, it's just irritating. It's just irritating in, in behavior of Kasumi, actually. What she's doing now. The both of them just keep moving in. And I just keep leaning further and further back. And then I heard it, and I'm pleasing cracking. Okay. 
We're going to follow. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh my god. The faces. I'd almost rather not explain, but you see, the bench we were sitting on was not affixed to the ground. Okay. So, if one were to lean back on it like I had been. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> and done. It was unnatural that the entire damn thing would tip over. Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> Okay, now I wonder why she just said Shiwawase, uh, shiwa which is happy. So, if you translate it differently, that hurts, but I'm happy, or like so something like along the lines, not bad, I'm happy, but I'm happy, it's fine. So, what happened? <laughs> Oh, she's just like hugging him. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, she was loud. I looked up at the sky, hoping to find some sort of solace. So, such a pretty day. Okay. The ball signifying the end of lunch break rang shortly afterwards. The faculty had decided to actually hold afternoon classes, so it probably would have been bad if I didn't go. The... Uh, Kendo. This is bad. I'm afraid about Kasumi, actually, because if she's still going with her routine, that's why she's against it. That's why she's so against uh, Rea. Because Kasumi have her, like, Basically, ritual, the routine, to go into Kendo, uh, Dojo, and train. And if she would agree with Rea, she would not be able to stay, like, to later hours to train. I think that's what that's the case. Himura made it holding a bamboo sword. Yeah. Kasumi is kind of dumb. Yeah, exactly. I don't know about that, but probably I will have to. Because you... Just ask for troubles doing that at this point. We have like already seven victims. It seems my feelings uh, on the matter are irrelevant. Yeah, good, good call, Rea. But very good call. Oh, you have a guest. Okay. I wonder who. What if... I mean, Christoph is the priest, so maybe the Christoph is going to visit the church. Like, that wouldn't be... strange, right? Himuro made her leave on that note. Kasumi and I. Turn to look at each other. So here I was, looking at two more hours of classes for the day. And on top of that, I had to stick around for the scandal freak practice afterwards. Man, what a day this would be. Okay. After school, Kasumi did practice swings until she was drenched with the sweat. No mean feat, given the temperature. As she left, she made sure to give her thanks at the dojo as usual. I couldn't help but uh, be impressed that she could keep this routine up the day after day. Okay. Huh? Shrugging, I handed, I handed her a chilled canned coffee. 
Just so you know, I wasn't trying to harass her or anything. Kasumi was absolutely incapable of consuming anything hot, even during the winter months. Wow, really? Is it possible to even be that, fr like, not fragile, like, sensitive to hot? Does any of you, like, have the same problem? I wonder. Can you, like, drink hot stuff or not? Maybe, maybe some of you cannot. I was just having hot tea myself. Yep. レン、そんなに真面目だっけ。わずらわしいのが嫌いなだけ。それに先輩も言ってたろ。責任問題になるってな。Exactly. Uh, I mean, that's a good idea to have something that you, you can like detach yourself from like bad uh, thoughts and stuff. I didn't understand that line of thinking. I was here watching her much the same reason. I was fine with the idea of doing something to take her mind off things. It would be an issue if that resulted in putting her in a dangerous situation, yeah. Of course, the idea of me trying to lecture Kasumi was a bit ridiculous. I ended up simply repeating what Himura had said earlier. Okay. We are safe. I was like afraid that like she would like end up like cold night or something. The sun still hasn't set. It didn't qualify as uh, night time just yet. I wasn't aware of any statistics saying that murders only struck when it was dark out, but I felt a vague sense of ease just from knowing that the sun was still up. Was this because I was one of those com uh, pleasant Japanese who had grown accustomed to the world without violence? Or did I have some reason to feel this way? What do you mean, word without violence? You literally beat almost to death yourself with Shiro. Huh. That's pretty much violence. It was probably the latter. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I felt confident that there would be no murders as long as I wasn't dreaming. I found myself thinking that maybe I should just try not sleeping and see what happened. Good idea. I wonder. Like... Just not sleep, see if there will be any murders, if there's not, then you can have like yellow light, then try to sleep, and uh, if there's murder, then you can have like red light. That would mean that you are a murderer. Like, mostly. Probably would require more tests to be 100% sure, but you'll be like freaked out so much after this, then you probably would not like to do any more tests. <laughs> Here I was acting all unstable again. My thoughts kept handing in ridiculous directions. Kasumi was walking alongside me, but we ostensibly, we ostensibly having some sort of conversation. But I couldn't tell you for the life of, uh, of me what we were actually saying. I just wasn't there. If Kasumi did end up getting killed, how would I react? Would I cry? Would I get angry? Would I seek revenge? Will I be able to accept her loss in the first place? Yeah, she seems like the best friend he ever get. Like, she's always fun to be with. Like, yeah, she have like some annoying parts. Like we had in the Rea situations back on the rooftop. But in most cases, she sounds, sounds like wholesome friends to have. We're talking about someone I had known since childhood. Someone so close that we're more like... We were more like siblings than anything. Would I be able to just write her off and move on with my life? I forced myself to stop heading down that line of thought. There was no point in worrying about Kasumi dying. Not even a serial killer would be able to take her out so easily. Eh, I would disagree with that. Huh? Right as I was thinking that... Ah? 
Tell me across from us, on the side, uh, sidewalk, on the opposite side of the castle was a rather strange sight indeed. Lojo performance. Jaanaiyone. Huh? Kasumi had noticed too. A man, probably a foreigner, was making a bit of scene. His uncomfortably long blonde hair. Ooh, ooh. The priest? The Christoph? Stuck out like a sore thumb, even from this distance. He has something to ask, something from every single person coming down the street. But none of them would so much as give him the time to, uh, of day. And instead of taking the hint, he just kept trying to engage them. It was painful to watch. What are, what are doing? Are they role playing what they see? This is so random. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, we were able to envision the sorts of response he was getting just by watching from a distance. And he... and there we... he went again. Okay. It seems everyone had enough of the spectacle. The surrounding onlookers started to leave. Soon enough, the foreigner was uh, left standing there, all by his lo uh, lonesome self. Combined with the fact that the guy was uh, built like a twig, it seems like the gust of wind was gonna blow him away any second. The cause situation made me want to feel sorry for the guy, but his treatment was understandable. He picked the wrong time and uh, to try to get people attention. Yeah. Is he not aware of the murder? I mean, okay, if this is the Kristoff, then he is very aware of the murders, probably. Unless he's not. I mean, if this is Ren doing, in like sleepwalking, then they might search for him. Maybe they're searching for him. Maybe they want to recruit him? Huh. Everyone was on the edge from the serial murders. No way they were gonna be willing to sit there and chat with the suspicious looking foreigner on the side of the road. Honestly, it was surprising that no one had called the police on him. Who knows what he wanted to accomplish, but it clearly wasn't happening. His best option was to get out of there before the cops did show up. Hey, mister. Oh my god. She's going, like, to engage. Hold your goddamn horses! Great. Yeah, that again. Why was she so worried about our pride as people or whatever? Last I checked, Kasumi had been appointed as the sole ambassador of the Japanese nation. Did something happen like to her family or something? Like she's obviously like very strict about this. I thought like maybe it's about her routine, but it's it's not that. Okay. Whatever. I was done trying to babysit her. You must have heard Kasumi, Kasumi love call because the foreigner is straightened up and began looking around the area. Our eyes met. Okay, it's weird. He started staggering our way. His feet unsteady, but his uh, path certain. He must have failed to take notice of the crosswalk and traffic lights as he cut right across the street drivers, honking and cursing at him the entire way. This guy didn't seem to be sharp as tool in the shed. I was prepared to grab Kasumi's arm and run if things got sketchy. The blonde foreigner had finally made his way over to us. Oh. It is the Christopher! Or Christoph, yeah, Christoph, or Trifa. This guy is so big that, yeah, he's cut even in the 4 to 3 resolution. Look at that. 
How big is he? What the hell? The guy was huge, at least 190 centimeters. Okay. It's way higher than I am. I'm kind of short, actually. Actually, medium. I don't know. If I had to guess. Uh, but uh, like I said, he was as screwy as a twig. So despite him towering over me, he didn't give off an intimidating presence or anything. In that case, uh, shall we we uh, service? Brain stopped working. That was amazing. This. De, you got that. Kasumi tried to communicate with shaky English. Unfortunately for her, her efforts were likely wasted. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what I thought, because he's a priest. Yeah. He's wearing a cassock and a rosary. And you didn't get much more priest-like uh, than that. If he was the guy Himuro had mentioned during lunch by break, uh, break then... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the second time. A priest responded in fluent Japanese, prompting Kasumi eyes to widen. That was amazing though. Pretty cute. Okay. Holy fuck, he's big. Also... He's not called Christoph, actually. So, he's called Christoph by the... By this fraction, but in general, his name will be Trifa. Okay. He smiled, the sort of smile uh, you would see in a priest textbook. Kasumi's face went the bit red, though I couldn't see what she had to be embarrassed about. なんか殴られたりしてましたけど。ああ、あれは私が悪いのですよ。どうも宗教の勧誘と間違えられたらしい。こちらの配慮が足りなかった。いや、いけ。シュール。いや、でも殴られた方が悪いっていうのは大丈
ちに来たことがあるんですかいやええー、ずいぶんと昔ですがあの頃とはだいぶ様変わりしていて驚きましたよバカそりゃここはそういう町だし I don't know how long ago he meant, but I saw me 10 years. It was only natural that he would be surprised. That was about when Suahara developed pick up. Yeah. It's like a tourist city, so. As well, that helps. And it was only natural that the current situation would progress as it did. The problem is that will take time and we'll have to like go back in total darkness or just stay at night in church. That will be like the best possible option to be safe. I knew all too well that nothing could stop Kasumi once her engine got fired up. Oh, that's right. この巡り合わせこそ主のお導きに違いないお嬢さんもしあなたは天使様では She's more like a demon ないないそれ絶対ない<笑> Father Tripa was beside himself with gratitude uh, But uh, yeah If Kasumi was an angel Then I was the supreme god of the multiverse <笑><笑>いやもう冗談抜きで泣きそうだったとこなんですよ私の同僚にも女性はいますがみんなとても怖い人たちばかりでしてね、okay. やっぱり女性は優しいのが一番です<笑>いやそれほどでもないなら照れるなよ気色悪いうるさいよねさっきから何か文句があるとでもで<笑>なるほどなるほど Oh my god she will think like he's jealous or something Oh my god the face The face is back. Panta, must cast the eye to the show. Oh, my God, Kasumi, stop. Come again, Wakario, so no kimochi. Demone, it's money can I tell Kavakarana, you to Koyari. Go straight on Nikimoto to take the credit to Noga, receipt the Yuka, Yasra, the Yuka, Sio de Kiru, the Yuka. Trifa looks so sad. Tony Kaku, Otokono Storm, it don't like a yame or me. でもたまにだったらそれも結構嬉しいぞ。What is she getting so happy about? Well, whatever. シンプさん、教会に行くんだろう。連れてってやるから早く行こう。はあ。ですが、そちらはよろしいんでしょうか。Next, uh, next to me, Kasumi, smiling from ear to ear, persisted with her nonsense. As I could even understand 10% of what she was saying. I concluded it had been some sort of alien language. たまに電波受信する病気なんだよ。放置してればすぐ治るから、気にしないでさっさと行こう。Oh my god, I love Ren. This is so good. いや、しかし、女性を置き去りにするというのもですね。大丈夫。こいついろんな意味で女じゃないから。<笑> good one. だからね、私はもうに。She's still going on this. 可愛くないっていうか、張り合いがないっていうか、つまんないのね。だからってわざと焼かせようとかそういうことはしないけど。つまり。つまり。つまり。Yeah, I was right to dub her, to dub her a complete idiot all those years ago. As such, I figured there would be no objections to just leaving her here. That's okay. Either way, after all, we end up heading towards the church. And I think we'll see this journey in the next episode, so we'll probably meet with Rea and we'll have discussion along the way with Trifa, so that might be very interesting. So I'm also kind of afraid of about Kasumi, what might happen to her, because she's alone now, so either she will realize she's alone or she will just like talk to herself there until night and something horrible will happen to her. So yeah, I wonder what will happen, so anyway. That was a good episode, very interesting, uh, and yeah, I hope to see what will happen next. So thank you all. Uh, we made some theories at the beginning with the dialogue uh, between like the main blonde guy and the Mercurius or Carl. And yeah, I think that will be it. So thank you all for joining. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being with me, watching this episode, for your comments. And also thank you 
my channel members because you are the ones who support me the most. Thank you all uh, and appreciate your help. Thank you all. And yeah, that will be it. So thank you all and I will see you in the next one. So for now, Pocket Watch, it's going out.